everyone, Maya here from My Storybook. Today, my friends, we have a very special read aloud featuring one of my favorite little characters, Amy Wu. And now you might recognize Amy Wu from another interactive read aloud we've done before. This one over here, Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow. If you haven't read this one yet, my friends, you can check it out. I'll link it in the description down below so you can join me for this read aloud too. But Amy Wu is back in Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. And I think you're gonna love this one just as much, my friend. I think that we should just jump right in. Double thumbs up if you're ready to get started. Excellent, let's begin. The title of today's interactive read aloud is Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. Written by Kat Zhang and illustrated by Charlene Chua. So that means that Kat Zhang, she's the author, so what did she do? She writes all the words, and Charlene Chua drew all the pictures, and we call her the illustrator. Now, this book was published by Simon Kitts, so big thank you to Simon Kitts for letting us read aloud this story and share it together. Now, if I take a look at the cover here, Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. What do you notice going on here? I see Amy Wu, and she's got her little kitten friend with her, and I see two dragons. What colors? red and gold and what do you notice about how this dragon looks or the shape of this dragon this dragon looks like a snake shape right and if you remember our read aloud of Quan yin if you remember that golden dragon there it they look the same right they have that long snake body if you haven't seen Quan yin's read aloud my friends definitely check it out I'll link it down below. Now, what you'll notice in this story is that we're going to be talking a lot about dragons and what different dragons from different places look like. Because some dragons in the East, in Asian countries, a lot of the times, these dragons have long bodies that look like snake bodies. Whereas I know a lot of the times in stories that we have here in America or in English stories, that the dragons don't have snake bodies, right? They have these big bellies they have maybe they have tails but not long tails like this they have like little tiny arms and like little legs and sometimes they're really like ferocious right and can be scary and dangerous right sometimes these dragons the serpent ones are more magical and helpful so Amy Woman this story is going to be learning about some different types of dragons and how different people have different ideas about what dragons look like my friends if you want to draw a picture of a dragon what you think what a dragon looks like while we're listening to this story that'd be a great activity to do okay well let's get started well, here is our title page. It has the title of our book, Amy Wu in the Patchwork Dragon, our author and illustrator, our publisher, Simon Kids. And wow, what do you notice here? That's the long tail of a dragon. And here is Amy. And where do you notice she is? Where is she right now? Looks like she's at school, right? During story time, Miss Mary reads Amy's class a book about dragons oh, how do the kids feel about learning about dragons really excited right oh, and oh who's in the window over here even the pigeons are excited what do you notice about how these dragons look like got the big bellies fire breathing horns Ooh, dragons that hoard treasure, that keep treasure. Dragons that blow fire. Oh, and dragons that fight nuts and gleaming armor. Oh, look at all these different dragons. Oh, what do you notice in these illustrations? <laughs> this one's trying to get a fairy. This fairy's kind of teasing him, right? This one's got lots of treasure. Oh, that's a very famous painting. The Mona Lisa. And oh, here's some signs. Keep out! No flyers! Coupons okay. <laughs> yeah, some coupons for me. I'll take them. So these are all the different dragons they are reading about. Afterward, she tells everyone to make their own dragons. Make them special, she says. Make them yours. So this is a great time, my friends. If you want to get a piece of paper or some art supplies out and design your own dragon while you're listening along, that'd be great to see what your dragons look like at the end of our story. Sam draws a dragon with enormous teeth. He crafts the wings from postage stamps. Oh, that's creative. And oh, what do you notice about her dragon down here? 
Willa sculpts a dragon with a big fat belly. She strings daisies for the tail. Oh, that's a pretty dragon. Big fat belly dragon. My friends, what is your dragon going to look like? Or what color is your dragon going to be? Ooh. Amy paints a dragon with a long, thin body. It has horns like a stag and claws like an eagle. Ooh, look at hers. Are you sure that's a dragon? Asked Sam. It doesn't look like a dragon, adds Willa. Oh, how do you think their questions are going to make Amy feel? Maybe a little sad, right? Like, well... Everyone gets to draw the dragon their own way. What do you mean it doesn't look like a dragon? Hmm, Amy says, maybe they're right. Oh, so now they're making her not so sure about her own creation. Amy scribbles with her pencils and doodles with her crayons. She glues beads to the paper and some to her hair. Right, when you get crafty, sometimes craft supplies get everywhere. Bits of dragon emerge, dragons with shiny green scales, dragons with leathery wings. They look great. They look just like the dragons in Miss Mary's butt. Dot, dot, dot. So they look fantastic. They look just like the dragons, but what do you think Mary feels about them? <laughs> They're not her dragon though, right? None of them work. None of them feel quite right. These dragons are not the dragons Amy wanted to make. So she'll make them look like everyone else's, but that's not what she wanted to make. And my friends, when you don't get to make what you really want to make in your creative imagination, it doesn't feel so good, does it? Time to clean up, says Miss Mary. I'm not done, cries Amy. Oh, oh look at everyone else's dragons. What do you notice about their dragons? <laughs> They've all got like short, fat bodies, right? No one has a long body like Amy's dragon. The rest of the class put their dragons on the show and tell table, but there's nothing from Amy, nothing at all. Oh no, how does Amy feel? It's very sad. Willa and Sam come over after school, but Amy can't even smile. Oh dear, said Amy's grandma. Why the sad face? So Amy tells her. Her grandma gets a twinkle in her eye. Grandma has an idea. Come, she says. Let me tell you a story. Hmm. What is grandma up to? And what do you notice about grandma's story? Look at all of these dragons. And what do you notice about the shape of these dragons? They all have that long body, just like Amy Wu's dragon that she was drawing earlier. She tells them about dragons that bring down the rain. Dragons that are wise and just. Dragons that fly without wings. So notice, my friends, these dragons don't have wings. They have these long bodies, but they still fly. So these dragons have different things that they do. They don't guard treasure. They don't blow fire. They don't fight knights. What do they do instead? <laughs> they bring the rain. They fly without wings. They are wise. Amy runs to the attic. She remembers where she got the idea for her dragon. She pulls out something red and yellow. Something with a big fat snout and golden horns. A dragon got Sam and Willa. A dragon agrees, Amy. Amy's grandma puts on the costume's head and Amy puts on the tail. So, my friends, you might have seen this before. This is this dragon lion dance costume where people wear this dragon costume and then they move around to make the snake serpent-like movements of the dragon. Oh my, here they go. Together, they dance down the attic steps and roar through the house. Maybe you can bring it to school, says Sam. Oh and show people about their dragon. Your mom and dad like, what's going on? Do you think that's a good idea? Should you bring it to school? Maybe to show other children that there are other kinds of dragons out there too? Well, after Sam and Willa go home, Amy begins to plan. What do you think she's planning? Well, she is quite busy, right? She shows her sketches to her family. Will you help me, she asks. Looks like she's going to create something. What is she going to make? They measure out fabric and cut it into shape so this 
material. They carve a cardboard frame and fasten the cloth. Attach the cloth. Amy knots together three silk scarves. Then she adds some beads and some glitter and a little more glitter just because. Oh, right. You can never have too much glitter. Look at all these craft supplies she's using. Like dad and mom. Everyone is helping her with this big project. What is she making, my friends? Oh, if I see here, this gives us a little clue. This looks like the, her design. What do you notice here? Looks like a dragon. It says Amy's dragon. Make it shiny. Ready? Ask Grandma. Amy takes a deep breath. Ready, she says. It looks like they're holding part of it up. We don't get to see it yet. She has it all in a bag. Amy comes to school with a big paper bag. The other children gather around. Is it your dragon? Asks Willa. Show us, cries Sam. I can see parts of it poking through and it looks super shiny, right? Amy puts on the dragon's head. She invites Willa and Sam beneath the dragon's tail. Together, they dance through the classroom and roar between the desks. Everybody cheers. Miss Mary laughs so hard you can't even breathe. This reminds me of what she and Grandma were doing at home, my friends. Look at her dragon. What do you notice about it? Right, we can't see the whole thing yet, but it looks really sparkly. It's got that long body like the ones that Grandma told her about in the story. Wow. And how does everyone feel when they learn about this new dragon and see it? They're really excited to see it and learn about it, huh? And here's her creation, my friends. What do you think? That looks so beautiful, right? So sparkly. And look at its beautiful head, the beads, the glitter, its long body, the scarves down here. Amy's dragon is red and yellow. It has a big fat snout and golden horns. It has enormous green wings and a tail of three silk scarves and beads and glitter. Lots of glitter. It works splendidly and it feels just right. So it looks like Amy combined some things about the dragons in Miss Mary's book and some things about the dragon in Grandma's book. What are some things that came from Miss Mary's book about dragons? The big wings, right? Those dragons have these big wings. And what about from Grandma's story about the dragons? The long body, right? The horns, the snout. Wow. Amy found a dragon that felt just right for her, huh? One that had a little bit of the dragon she had at home and one that had a little bit of what she had at school. It is exactly the dragon Amy wanted to make. And how does Amy feel about that? So much happier, right? When you finally find something and get to make something that feels right to you, that gets to share everything that you're feeling inside and something that represents both parts of you, right? Both parts of her family's dragon and then the dragon that she learned about in school. How beautiful, my friends. The end. So now she gets to add her dragon to the show and tell table. And they have all sorts of different dragons here. Here at the end, my friends, there's this dragon activity where you can design your own dragon. It suggests that you could trace these objects and glue them onto the different dragons. There's this dragon, the Western dragon that a lot of Western countries like America has, or the Eastern dragon, a symbol of good luck and strength in many cultures, especially in Asia. These dragons are usually covered in scales. They often breathe fire. And usually in these stories, these dragons are really greedy and want treasure, right? They have sharp and pointy horns and claws like a lizard. Whereas these dragons have claws that look like eagles. They have also have bodies covered in scales. But they have a lot of magical powers too. And are also very intelligent. So some differences. Maybe your dragon will look like this. Maybe you have a dragon that looks like that. Or maybe like Amy Woo's, you combine the two and see what you come up with. All right, my friends, what a fun story about creativity, about dragons, about different cultures and how different cultures represent different animals and magical creatures. My friends, if you created your dragon picture, I would love to see it. Or if you haven't done it yet, but maybe now after the read aloud, you should go make your own dragon. I would love to see your own creative projects. 
So if you do make those my friends, please reach out to me on Instagram, here on YouTube, email me, find me on the blog, on um, all my social media channels can be found down below. I'd love to see your own dragon creations. Otherwise, my friends, if you did make a dragon or if you're planning to, go ahead and share with me what are some things that your dragon has? What colors, what wings, scales, powers? What do you think? What would you have on your dragon? Wow, that sounds incredible, my friends. Well, I really hope I get a chance to see it or that you make it if you haven't made it yet. All right. Well, my friends, if you enjoyed this interactive read aloud, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my Storybooks YouTube channel to keep up with the rest of our read alouds this month. Thank you for joining me as we went on this adventure with Amy Wu and all of her dragons and crafting adventures. It's always so fun to be creative and make things, right? All right, friends. Well, that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. I hope I see you for our next reading adventure. But until then, happy reading. Thank you.